Hello, welcome back to Channel Nika. First of all, I wanna say thank you to all of you who have watched my tutorial over how to make this very dimensional um, classroom, your virtual classroom, your Bitmoji classroom. If you have not already, go over to Teachers Pay Teachers and create an account. Um, I actually just set up my account a few days ago and I have a few things in my store I recently added these beautiful neon signs. You have over 80 signs to choose from and they look sort of like this. You have to pick from emojis to uh, letters of your name, um, just a whole bunch of different things there. Also, don't forget to download your free classroom right here. Um, and that comes with furniture, the room background and different things like that. If you've not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I upload tutorials all the time and I'm actually listening to you guys. Someone mentioned that they needed this tutorial and I made it happen. Please don't hesitate to write down in the comments below what you want to see. Um, today, you guys are going to be taught how to link your virtual classroom to Canvas and Google Classroom. If you use any of the other platforms, um, I, I apologize, I've never used any other platform besides Google Classroom and Canvas, so that's what I'm going to be doing the tutorial over today. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the picture of your virtual classroom. Go ahead and put it in present mode, and you're going to take a screenshot. So if you're on a Windows, um, I believe it is FN and then print screen. If you're on a Mac, you're going to do Command Shift 4, and it turns it into a crosshair. And you're gonna go up to the top of the screen and drag it down to take a screenshot. And it will end up on your desktop, most likely. Go ahead and click Exit, okay? And after you have that done, we're going to start with Google Classroom first. So in Google Classroom, you're going to go ahead and set up a classroom. This is a sample that I have right here. You're going to click on Upload Photo. And I'm just going to drag this over here. You could also upload it if it went somewhere else. And it's going to take a little while because screenshots are usually larger files. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is take your bar and you're going to put it over the section that you're wanting. And I'm going to use a lot of my bar and I'm going to just take out this section right here, select class theme, and it's changing and it'll show up right here just like that. This is not where students will click. In fact, they will click down here, okay? So it says create a, a schedule or announcement, create and announce, uh, sorry, create and schedule announcement. Um, and this is where your announcement panel will be. This is where we're going to link our classroom, okay? So you're going to click right there, click on add a link, and then you're going to go back to your virtual classroom, click share, copy that link, go back over here, paste the link there and add it. And you'll say something like, welcome, begin your day here and you'll post that and in order for this to stay up at the top if you were to post something else you'll just click on these three dots right here and move it to the top right now there's nothing above there so that's not an option at the moment but you'll just move that up to the top and keep that up there um, it'll, it will help your students if you rename this something like start here so they have no questions asked to where to start. And this is how you set it up on Google Classroom. Um, I will have my classes separated by periods. So it'll be, you know, first through sixth period or whichever periods you have, 
and they'll each have one of these linked to their um, their the classroom site. Let me click out of that. Um, so when they click on the syllabus, they'll go to syllabus. When they click on the library, um, it'll go to the text that we'll need. Again, I teach ninth grade. Um, this will be a bio about myself or a video of me. Here's a news article from um, Houston. I was born in Texas. Um, so this is an article to something that's going on in Houston. This is the clock. Uh, and you, I'll also put my standards and things like that on the board. This is also a link back to Google Classroom if they need to check the calendar. So as I've said in my last video, the possibilities are endless with this platform. Um, if you want to do the less is best, you can do less is best. It's, it just, it's up to you. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your Canvas, okay? So in Canvas, I want you to go ahead and go down to Files. And with Canvas, you have to upload a file first. And in this case, we're going to upload that screenshot that we took, and it's this one right here. So you open that. And again, it may take a little while because screenshots are large files. Um, in fact, well, I'm not gonna mess with it right now, but I'll show you guys in a second how to resize screenshots um, in case they're too big. I'll show you right now. So on a Mac, You'll open up the screenshot. You'll click right here on this editing pencil. Then you'll click here. This is a resize or adjust size um, icon. And right now the width is at 20 inches. You can do it by inches or pixels. It doesn't matter. Inches works best for me. And if I want it to be half that size, I just do a 10 or whatever's half of whatever number was up here. And it'll automatically scale it proportionally. And then I'll click OK. And it won't be that small. Uh, the next time I open it, uh, the file will just be um, a little smaller for, for uploads. Okay, so you're going to, you already have your screenshot uploaded right here. I don't see a picture of it. Hopefully it'll be there for me later on. Okay, and then the next thing you're going to do is go home. Well, actually let's go to pages, go to pages. And in the pages, you're going to, I've already labeled mine the front page, but you're going to edit a page or add a page if that's an option. And I've already named my page English 9. You can name it whatever your class title is, or you could even name it Start. I actually would name it Welcome. Name it Welcome. And then down here, you want to embed your image from Canvas, my files. Is that open? Course files, is it in course files? Yes, there we go. And go down to your screenshot, so it's course files, go down to your screenshot, and then update. And it will appear here in this box. The next thing you do is click on the image and then link to URL. And this is where you're going to insert the link that you already have on your clipboard. You'll just click share, copy that link again, and you will post it right there. Insert link. And then click save. And this will be your welcome page. Okay, in order to make it your front page, what you're going to do is go back to your home screen because we were in pages. So you're going to go home and then you will click on choose home page and it will be pages front page, the welcome, and you'll just save that there. In order to test it, to make sure that everything looks good, you're going to click on student view. And this is what students will see whenever they come in. Everything looks good. You don't want your um, students going automatically to modules. You want them to check the board as if they have walked into your classroom or if you want them to um, check for any announcements, look at the calendar, uh, if they need a place to view the syllabus. Your virtual classroom is supposed to be somewhere um, where they can find everything that they would be able to find in your classroom, okay? 
So in the student view, what a student will do is click here. You can also give them those directions. I'm actually gonna add that and it'll go to the virtual classroom. So it's simple and easy. Um, and again, let's go back because I do wanna add something here telling them where to click. I like, for, I like to be intentional and I like to let them know exactly where to go. So we're gonna leave student view. And then I'm going to, I may not have had to go to pages, but I'm just, you know, kind of crazy like that. <laughs> click on edit. And then I want to tell them to click the photo. Or wait, 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 click to enter. Click to enter your virtual classroom. Because I want students to know exactly what to do. I don't want any questions. Awesome. All right, so that is what they'll see. If you've not already subscribed to my channel, please go, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I upload tutorials all the time and I'm actually listening to you guys. Someone mentioned that they needed this tutorial and I made it happen. Please don't hesitate to write down in the comments below what you want to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.